So today we'll be talking about when I went to get my wisdom tooth removed and why I think I didn't suffer with too much complication after the surgery. We're going to be discussing how vitamin D plays a role in tooth extraction and the healing process thereafter, especially in a wisdom tooth extraction, especially those that are impacted. Okay, so let's talk. So it was last year, October, when I decided to go and get my wisdom tooth removed because it was impacted and it was growing against another tooth and then based on how it was going food and stuff was getting trapped and it was difficult to clean and all these other stuff so i decided to get it removed however these are some things that i did prior to well i've always been doing these things so one thing i know is that before any surgery it doesn't have to be dental but especially before any dental work or any surgery you must make sure you have enough vitamin d inside your body to prevent a host of different things from going wrong we'll get into those a little later of what can go wrong however i've always been taking my vitamin d so that was good my magnesium also my vitamin k2 my multivitamins so i was good leading up to the surgery right so the day came now for the surgery oh my goodness i wouldn't on a scale of one to ten how difficult the extraction was i'd say maybe 6.5 seven 6.9 let's say 6.9 out of 10 it wasn't too bad but i was uncomfortable the whole process i did local anesthetic local anesthesia so we just numb the area the next day you do whatever they tell you to do uh i think rinks with salt water and these different stuff so the next day right i realized so this is where it gets a bit tricky so the next day i realized like hmm i'm still numb like half of the lip right here is still numb and here like below here and here everything else is good but here and here completely numb i kept tapping it to see like what i'm like i was this close to calling the dentist like am i supposed to be still numbed up from the procedure yesterday and then days went on like three four days and i'm like wait nah 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 I can't be still numb. I, I'm telling you, I can't be still numb. So then I went and looked, and I found out that you can actually be uh, nerve damage. Oh my goodness, but I got so scared. I am not even kidding. I got so scared because what do you mean I can't feel here? For how long can't or will I not be able to feel a portion of my lip and chin? You feel me? So i went online to see what people were recommending people were just saying oh it's a waiting game you just gotta wait it is you gotta wait there's nothing you can do you just gotta let the body heal on its own however long that takes i've seen someone said it takes up to well for them partic in particular it took them 10 years 20 years but i was like but what I did find some helpful stuff that I've, I did find that person said you take high dose vitamin B12. They did say B12, but I know you don't take just one B vitamin. You got to take the entire B complex. So I got some of that. What I did once I was able to, you know, um, start eating. So eating soft foods and stuff. So then I started taking my supplements which I think maybe were like three days in. So I took, you know, my usual. I doubled up the vitamin D though. So I was taking 20,000 vitamin D per day until it went, until I got the feeling back. Uh, 400 milligrams of magnesium, the B complex multivitamin, where I was taking a bunch of stuff. Well, when I mean a bunch of stuff, just those stuff. <laughs> So I took a high dose B complex, a natural high dose B complex. If you want to know if a B complex is natural, just look to the back. Make sure it says methyl cobalamin. 
that means it's a natural B complex. If it says cyanocobalamin, it's not natural. And then I started taking the B complex one in the morning, one at night. Very high com it's a very high dosage of B complex. Don't worry. Uh, when taking B complex, your pee is gonna look yellow. Don't you're not dehydrated. It's just the excess being flushed out. Keep that in mind. So what happened is that after three weeks, I think three and a half weeks, I regained feeling back in my lip and under here. It was a miracle. I am so grateful because it would have felt so weird to not have a portion of your lip. I mean, maybe you would have gotten used to it, but a portion of your lip doesn't have any feeling. It would have felt weird. So what I did was make sure I was very serious about my supplementation and just hope for the best. So let's explain some of the benefits. What ha why did I take some of these stuff? Vitamin D. Vitamin D has the ability to reduce the inflammation in the, in, uh, in the nerve cells. So you have nerve damage when you get the wisdom teeth removed. Nerve damage is going to create inflammation. So vitamin D reduces that inflammation. And going into the surgery with high enough vitamin D levels in your blood, I think, I don't know. I was trying to see if I could find a connection. I haven't found anything really of substance on the internet and studies anything. Maybe I should have do more research, but I haven't really found anything concrete to stand on. But I really think vitamin D is one of the reasons why I was able to recover so quickly magnesium is always going to be important in reducing inflammation and helping the vitamin d to work better my multivitamins just to patch any gap that i needed you never know all these vitamins are intertwined together each one helps another one so you're gonna need a multivitamin too i would suggest and the b complex b vitamins are known to repair or fasten the repair of damaged nerves and they all they all work together for better nerve function so that is why i took the vitamin b complex vitamin d is also important just to something i miss vitamin d is important because you have a big hole in your mouth now as well from the extraction so you got to keep that in mind um well i got my stitch back up but you still it's an open site regardless Inf infection we got to be careful of infection vitamin d helps boost the overall immune system of the body which is going to help prevent infection at any site so that's also important vitamin d also helps with wound healing big open hole you know vitamin d is so important that's why i had to make this video because i found a lot of persons on here they go to get their wisdom teeth removed and i just lucky i had to remove i'm just lucky i had to remove just one which is over here um yeah i'm i think i'm really lucky in that sense but for those that suffered complication or if you're gonna have your wisdom teeth removed please optimize your vitamin d before so if you know you're gonna get your vitamin i mean sorry if you know you're gonna get your teeth wisdom did out start taking your vitamin d and optimize it three months before or as far or as far in advance as possible so that's the vitamin d the magnesium the k2 zinc as well you gotta get multivitamin that b complex before you can even take the b complex before getting into the surgery and then it's mostly effective after the surgery as well because that's the time you're going to need it to help that with that nerve repair. And since vitamin D reduces inflammation as well in the nerve cells, it's going to equate to faster, a faster healing time. Because less inflammation means it's less inflamed, means it's going to heal at a faster rate. So just keep that in mind. And I hope this helps. This is what I did. Not saying it's going to work for you, but this is what I did to recover from my wisdom teeth removal surgery and got rid of the numbness in about three and a half four weeks from half of my lip and the bottom half of my chin and 
I think you should try it out. I think this is probably the reason why I didn't suffer maybe long-term damage or a longer period without feeling in my lower lip. So, hope this helps. Peace.